Hello, good people of the internet. My name is Hexa and welcome back to another monthly Lush Kitchen unboxing video. In today's video, we are gonna be unboxing the August box or the September box. I'm not sure what it is because they've actually changed it around because Lush realized that it didn't really make sense to theme the box for the month that was ending. So like the next box that's arriving at like the end of September, beginning of October is gonna be the October box, but I'm not sure if they're calling this one the August box or the September box because it's arrived on like the 1st of September. So I don't know, <laughs> we'll see. But anyways, this arrived pretty quickly. I think this was the fastest delivery so far. It shipped out, like I got the notification that they shipped it on the 28th of August and it arrived on the 1st of September. So only four days, that was pretty fast. Um, I'm based in Germany, so you know, I feel like their shipping maybe is getting a little faster. I don't know. But anyways, you guys know if you followed my other Lush Kitchen unboxing videos, I like to go through the vote first and talk about what I voted for and why and what was included in the vote and all that. So before we do the unboxing, I'm just gonna go through that info for a sec. If you wanna skip to the unboxing, I'll leave the timestamp in the description box below. All right, let's go. So in this month's menu, we had the Lush Lime Soap Smoothie. Get the zest kind of clean with fresh strawberries and zingy organic lime juice with extra virgin olive and almond oils to moisturize. It looks like I didn't actually vote for this one and I'm not sure why looking back because the description actually sounds really nice. I think it's just because the previous box also had a soap smoothie so I didn't want to overdo it with the soap smoothies and I thought hmm, maybe there's gonna be other products in the menu that are more interesting to me. Next was the Turkish Delight soap smoothie. Decadent creamy washes filled with spirit neroli, soothing rose oil, seductive jasmine, silkening almond oil, and moisturizing cocoa butter. I did vote in this soap smoothie. I love Turkish Delight. It's so good. It's one of my favorite like sweet treats. I don't get to have it very often, but when I do, I absolutely love, especially like rose or pistachio flavored Turkish Delight. If you've never tried Turkish Delight, Give it a go, it's so good. It's like Jello or gummy bears, but for fancy people. <laughs> Space Girl Bath Bomb. Elevating grapefruit oil refreshes and uplifts the mood, clarifying and toning the skin, while bergamot leaves you feeling relaxed on a galactic level. I definitely voted this in. I just think it's so pretty. The colors look amazing. I love that it's shaped like a planet. And then yeah, the scents sounded nice. The grapefruit, the bergamot, it sounded like it would be very nice and refreshing. Pied de pepper foot lotion. Fair trade organic cocoa butter and extra virgin olive oil moisturize while ginger, cinnamon leaf, and clove bud oil boost skin's circulation. I did not vote for this just because I'm not huge on spicy scents like clove and ginger. I'm also, I have to say, I'm very, very bummed about Softy Foot Lotion getting discontinued. I like the Pink Peppermint as well, but I feel like every brand on the face of the planet Earth makes freaking peppermint scented foot creams. There's so many of them and I'm sick of it because I, I loved Softy because it was just calming. Like it just smelled delicate and gentle and it was perfect for bedtime. I don't always need my feet to smell like peppermint. So Lush, get on that, fix your shit. Don't discontinue softy, stop discontinuing things in general. Who else is like low key pissed at Lush right now for all of the amazing products that they're discontinuing? I'm like, please stop. Anyways, ran over, did not vote for this foot cream cause it's just not, the scents aren't really my vibe. Karma dusting powder for patchouli and pine oil scented velvety skin. Our signature scent combines with cornstarch and soothing calamine powder to absorb excess moisture and leave you feeling silky soft. I did not vote for this because I don't love the Karma scent. I don't dislike it, but it's just not one of my favorites. And I also, I have the sleepy, 
a dusting powder, but I don't know. I feel like it's just not one of those, those products that I'm not that inclined to use. We have the Creme Anglaise Body Lotion. Is it just me or is there a lot of like French in the product names this month? Deeply moisturizing fair trade organic cocoa butter fills this body lotion. Scented like creme brulee with organic almond and Brazilian orange oils, brighter, softer skin awaits. They had me at creme brulee. That's definitely why I voted for this. <laughs> creme brulee. As you know, I love food scents. Caramel, creme brulee, coconut, vanilla, cocoa, anything. Mwah. Anything that smells like a dessert, I'm all for it. Slammer Shower Gel. This invigorating lime and ginger mix is sure to leave you feeling cheery with local sea water and fresh lime juice to gently cleanse sleepy skin. Now I said I don't love ginger, but I did vote for this because the lime and the sea water, that sounds really interesting. I quite like salty, beachy feeling scents. Um, and the lime also sounded nice and refreshing. And overall, I feel like there's enough other scent ingredients in this that aren't spicy that the spice won't overpower the scent. I don't know, I've never tried it, so who knows? I, I think it's gonna be in the box though. They always have a shower gel in the box so far, so I think this will be in the box. Ooh, next is shampoo, so who knows? Maybe this month they'll have a shampoo instead of the shower gel. Anyways, they had the Wash Day Greens Shampoo, a supremely refreshing herbal blend with a grassy, minty aroma that deeply refreshes your hair and scalp. I did vote for this. The last time that they had a herbal smelling product in the Lush kitchen, I was not a big fan. They had Super Tramp and that just smelled like Chinese traditional medicine to me. Um, <laughs> but I have a little bit of like a problem with my scalp. It's like very flaky. So I thought, why not try a Lush shampoo and see if that'll help? Because fun fact, I have actually never tried a Lush shampoo. I've had samples of them, but I've never owned a full size um, liquid shampoo from Lush. I've only ever tried their shampoo bars in like, full size, I've only ever bought the shampoo bars. So I thought this was a good opportunity to maybe try out a new product category from Lush. And then the last item on the vote was the Little Monkey Bubble Bar. Sweet and cheeky, this fresh fair trade organic banana packed bar makes for a softening and super fruity soak. I just loved the colors in this. I loved the name of it. I thought it was super cute. I was like, heck yes, why not? Let's try the little monkey. So that was the vote. Now it's time to get into the unboxing and see which ones of these treats we actually got this month. Remember, if you wanna see more of these Lush unboxings every single month, you can subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of great content on self-care, mental health, and so much more. So I'd love to have you join me here and keep up with with my videos in general. And also leave me a comment letting me know which products you voted for and why, if you agree with my choices or not. But anyways, time for the box. Hello, my pretty. I'm so excited. <laughs> These boxes honestly just bring me so much joy. These boxes are always a little hard to open, which is good for preventing loss and theft, but bad for people who are bad at opening things like me. Ah, oh my God, something amazing smelling is coming out of here. And I think it's rose. I'm calling it out. I think they have a rose scented something in here. Maybe it is the Turkish delight. I would be really happy if that were the case. Ugh, what is happening today? I'm gonna injure myself before I get this open. Almost broke a nail, not quite. You didn't get me today. Oh, right, I'm so smart. I forgot, I have to also cut the tape on the sides. <laughs> ah! I literally just like almost stabbed myself in the stomach with a knife. Today is a good day. <laughs> All right. Ha ha. 1995. I don't get the reference. Was 1995 the year that the Lush brand was founded? Are these like all OG products from the year 1995 in this box? I have no idea, but I know this card has the products on the back of it. So I'm just gonna put it down without looking at the back because I don't want no spoilers. Fresh from the kitchen, let's go. Number one is in a tub. Oh, this is big. Wow, okay, we have a full-size 
Creme Anglaise body lotion. I was not expecting a huge body lotion like this. This is pretty awesome. There's some very nice smelling powder on this too, but let's get into the actual Creme Anglaise first. Oh, this was the Creme Brulee one, isn't it? Hmm. It smells very nice. It's not overly sweet. It's not too overpowering. It has a little bit of a bitterness to it though that I'm on the fence about. I think this must have been like almond oil in here or something, right? Yeah, sometimes almond oil can smell a little bitter to, to certain people. Um, and I'm one of those, so I'm always a little bit wary of almond scented things. But on the skin, it's very nice. It's not as dessert-like as I would like, but it's still nice. I will still use it. Um, I would give this scent like a six out of 10. Wiping down my hands. Up next, we have, oh, this is a, oh, this is a bath bomb, I think. Or maybe it's like a foot soak, who knows? I don't know, I haven't looked at the paper, so I don't know the description, but it's really pretty. It's shaped like a heart. It has, some, I called it, it has some rose petals, like dried roses embedded in it. This looks absolutely beautiful. It smells amazing it's so floral it's so feminine it this is incredible i don't know what this product is called though and i don't want to look at the card because i don't know if there's gonna be other surprises in the box so i'm gonna put this aside and let you guys know at the end of the video what this product is called but so far i love it i'm very excited for this it's very very nice it's it's a really like classic feeling uh, floral scent love always gotta be careful with the bath bombs they make me a little anxious because you know they they can go kaboom um not literally not like a literal bomb oh my god what am i saying okay next Ooh, a slammer mini shower gel 100 grams this is actually more translucent than i thought i expected like according to the picture it looked like it was gonna be a solid very opaque orange color like the groovy kind of love shower gel, but it's actually a little uh, transparent. I'm gonna take off the cap so I can give it a better sniff. Oh, that's nice. The lime and the ginger play really well together. I feel like I get more lime than ginger, but there's a bit of nice contrast there. They kind of like play off of each other and accentuate each other. So this is really nice. Um, I would say definitely, yeah, very refreshing, very great for a pick-me-up in the morning. I'm glad we got this. I would have happily gotten a big size of this as well, but um, yeah, it's definitely nice. Another tub of something. Oh, this is the Lush Lime Shower Smoothie. I did vote this one out. This is bigger, I feel like, than the last shower smoothie we got. This definitely looks bigger than the last shower smoothie. Who knows, maybe I'll like this more than I thought I would. So far to me, this just smells very, very delicate. It's very light. Just gonna take a little bit on my hands. Oh yeah. I definitely get the lime and the grapefruit. It's a very gentle scent. It's like neither here nor there. Um, oh, I forgot to give ratings for the other, for the other products. Uh, to me, I, I don't not like it. I just, it's just kind of there, you know? Um, the lime is nice. It is a nice scent. It's just a little, it's a little plain for me. It's a, it's a little too subdued. Okay, I forgot to give ratings, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that now. This one, this bath bomb, whatever it is, I, I, I'm gonna look at the end to find out what it's called. Scent is definitely a 10 out of 10 for me as far as florals. It's a very, very nice floral. As far as the appearance, I love heart-shaped things. I love the flower petals embedded in the product. I just wish it was a little bit more colorful maybe. Who knows, maybe there's colors inside or maybe this is just the vibe, you know, something a little more plain, a little more milk bathy. I don't know. It's nice. Slammer gets a seven out of 10 for me. It's not like a super amazing, incredible scent, but it is nice. And like I said, Lush Lime is neither here nor there. I don't like it. I don't dislike it. It's just there. So I'm gonna give this a very neutral five. <laughs> oh, 
there's another surprise in here that I don't think was on the vote. This is a soap. Ooh. This. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. It's one of the new, new soap design shapes. I mean, the whole, like, Lush logo bar soap things, it's a cute idea, but why would you fix something that wasn't broken? I loved Lush's old soaps with all of the different shapes. They were so cute, so pretty, so interesting. And now they're all just the same freaking, like, boring shape. It's... Why would you do that? I don't understand. This smells to me, a it has a little bit of a mintiness to it. Yeah, that's mostly what I'm getting is some kind of mint. And then there's something else here that I can't put my finger on. So I'm gonna wait to find out what soap this is at the end. I feel like I had seen something else in here too, but I'm not sure now. No, I think we are already at the end. There's nothing else. Okay, so those were our products for this month. Five products as usual. I don't know why I could have sworn I saw the little monkey bubble bar in there, but I guess I was wrong. I was seeing things. I was really hoping it would be in there, but it wasn't, but that's okay. Ooh, we have stickers. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Awesome. Oh my gosh, I didn't notice this. We've never had this before. We have Lush stickers this month. That is awesome. So we have Fresh from the Kitchen, 1995, Fighting Animal Testing, 29, like 29 High Street, the Lush with a heart logo, a little banana that says we really do put the whole fruit in. 25. I don't know why the 25. Oh, because it's 25 years since 1995. Wow, math, smart. Okay, so I guess it is um, their 25th anniversary. We have the retro Lush logo. Uh, no fur, but this is not a sticker in itself. It's part of like the, the back of the sheet. Fresher than you and refugees welcome. Definitely something I can stand by. Love these, super cute. Very nice little add on in there. Happy to get this. Okay, so let's have some explanations for our mystery products. The soap is Dirty Boy, and this has rapeseed oil, coconut oil, pumice powder, rosemary, that's what I was smelling. No mint, so I was <laughs> imagining the mint. There is um, limonene and linalool. I think those are scent products that give it like a bit of a citrusy scent. <coughs> okay, I'm inhaling bath bomb powder now or pumice powder, I guess. <laughs> yeah, this is nice. Always good to have soap, you know? <laughs> okay, and then the bath bomb is called Titsy Totsy. No, no, tit, no, not Titsy Totsy. Tisty Tosty. Tisty to What on earth could that possibly mean? <laughs> Tisty Tosty. So, it has seven rosebuds. Precisely and exactly seven. Rose Absolute ger Geranium Oil. Oh my god, I love geranium. That is good. Sicilian Lemon Oil. Jasmine Absolute. Oris Root Powder. And then some other stuff. Tisty Tosty. <laughs> Say that five times fast. Did I just drop water on me? I feel like I did. You guys would not believe how often I pour water on my clothes when I drink water. I don't know, I, it's, I'm like a toddler. I'm like a child who just can't drink things without spilling. It's, it's, it's a little, it's a little ridiculous. I think I forgot to give a rating for our Dirty Boy Soap. To be honest, for me personally, this gets like a four or a five out of 10. And it's not because I don't like it, it's just because it's not the kind of scent that I would choose to go for. There are certainly situations and moments in which I would use this product, and I will use it because, I mean, it's hand soap, like, why would you not? But, I don't know, it's just... 
it's it's a little meh. So Tisty Tosty was Rose pick and it was created in 1995. Dirty Boy also was Rose pick and it was created in 1995. A note from Ro, I hope you enjoy using our anniversary collection. Maybe they will bring back memories for some of you and create new ones for others whichever camp you fall into, enjoy. Love, Ro. So two of the products, the two products in here that were not on the menu are from 1995. They were like, I guess, part of the original Lush line. I was not around in 1995, so I am a born in 98, baby. And I really, really like one of the picks and I don't so much like the other pick. The Tisty Tosty is really nice. The Dirty Boy is just kind of meh. Closing thoughts on this box. This wasn't a bad box, but I feel like out of all the boxes that we've gotten so far, this was the most a little underwhelming for me. I am really surprised that we got a full size pot of body lotion. That is really, really nice. And this does smell nice, but just not super mega awesomely amazing, especially for like being described as creme brulee scented. I feel like it wasn't true creme brulee. Um, there's other products I've tried from Lush that are closer to a creme brulee scent than this one. I have to say though, my favorite product in this box is definitely Tisty Tosty. If they chose to bring this back permanently, I would not complain. This is a very, very nice bath bomb. It's, I don't know, it's just very, it smells very classic, smells very elegant, smells very timeless, you know? This is, this is a bath bomb that would always be enjoyable, in my opinion. If you like florals, you'll probably love this. Oh, and the sticker sheet was a very nice little bonus. Although I will probably do with it the same thing that I always do with sticker sheets, which is hoard them and <laughs> never stick them to anything because they're too pretty. I don't want to waste them on something frivolous. I have to use them for a special occasion and the special occasion never comes. Um, <laughs> who else does this? I'm the same with bath bombs. I never use bath bombs because I'm just like, oh, they're too, they're special and they're expensive and they're fancy and I want to keep them for a special occasion and like, oh, it's my birthday. Nah, it's not special enough for a bubble bath with a bath bomb in it. Pfft, no way. Okay, I'm gonna stop rambling. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining me for this month's unboxing. Let me know what you guys thought of this month's products. Um, like I said, they're nice. There's, I don't have any like big complaints about any of them. There's nothing that I strongly dislike. Last month, um, I was, I got the comforter body lotion and I was totally like very turned off by that scent. So there's nothing in this box that I actively dislike, but there's just, I feel like the proportion of products in this box that were just a little underwhelming, just kind of there, did not provoke any strong feelings of love and dedication is a bit high. <laughs> I would have loved to get Turkish Delight shower smoothie. I'm a little bummed that that was missing. I would have also loved to get Little Monkey. I think those were the two products in the box that I was rooting for the most. But say la vie, sometimes things work out in your favor and other times they don't. And that's okay because somebody else will get this box and be absolutely obsessed and in love with everything in it. And you know, we are voting for these boxes as a community and sometimes it works out in our individual favor and other times it doesn't. Oh my God, another one I just realized, another one that was in this vote that I was really, really rooting for was the Space Girl bath bomb that looked so pretty. Oof. But I did get a bath bomb that although is not as much to look at, is very, very nice to smell. <laughs> so I'm happy. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this month's unboxing. If you wanna see more videos like this and join me over here on my channel where we like to try new things, increase our health and happiness and overcome our fears, then go ahead and click that subscribe button down below and click the notification bell to be notified every single time I upload. If you wanna help out my channel even more, there's a link down below to my Patreon where you can donate to get access to exclusive live streams, behind the scenes content, polls, and more. You can also support me by buying from my art shop where you can get these very cute 
earrings that I'm wearing today. That's also linked down below. It is hexacreates.bigcartel.com. Also check out my social media. It's all down there. I do have a Lush account. If you want more Lush related content from me, go check that out. I think that is it. So thanks again for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.